Well, here we go. Here's some more modern scams. And if, if you guys know scams that are out there, please give everybody the heads up. I love this. Modern scam. Hey, Billy Bald Brains, I heard you were talking about scams old and new on the October 5th podcast, and I wanted to tell you about a new scam that people are doing these days. All right, I was on the dating app Hinge. There's a dating app called Hinge. All I can think of is unhinged. Is that where all the psychos go? Anyways, uh, Hinge and saw a hooker on there. Her profile said, who wants to fuck, DM me for rates on Snapchat. Oh, boy. Oh, is this the cops? So I did just that. It was 200 bucks for three hours, so I thought about it for a few weeks and then went ahead to book her. She asked for a half hour up front, so I sent her 100 right then. Oh, no. Then she put me in touch with her boss who asked for 300 refundable deposit for the girl's booking code. It was supposed to be sent back to me after the, de- after the deed, so I sent it like an idiot. Then she asked for a 625 deposit to guarantee safety, which I also sent like a dumbass. Dude, at this point, they're just going to keep going. So I sent that like the dumbass I am. Then she asked for 925 so she will be safe in your arms. I finally realized it was a scam, and I was out 1025 bucks. Fuck me. So for all your followers, listen, listeners who suck at hitting on chicks, Watch out for those scams. Oh, dude, don't fuck hookers, man. Don't fuck hookers. That's never the answer. All right? It, you're going to feel like shit afterwards, and then that's somebody's daughter who didn't raise her. All right? The whole thing is to, you don't want to be a part of that world. Anyway, also, if anyone knows how to find people based on their zeal, Z-E-L-L-E, Zelly, or Venmo accounts, please let me know. Thanks and go fuck yourself. All right, well, thanks for letting people know about that shit. Uh, yeah, don't ever fucking... <laughs> don't ever DM money to a hooker. She ain't showing up. Um, 